Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we discuss about an interesting topic that is a dynamic memory allocation or dynamic memory management. So to be able to understand a dynamic memory management, let's go and start with static memory management. And that is what we have been doing or that is what the C programming language is doing by default. So for example, if we have a program, this is our main function. And inside of the main function, we have the these uh, variables. Uh, we have a variable of type integer, we have a variable of type double, char, and we could also have some arrays as well. And all of these variables, they are going to take up some memory. Some memory is going to be statically allocated to these uh, variables. And uh, this memory is going to be used up the whole time until this program is completed so until the program reaches this part this memory is always used for these variable the moment uh, the variables are initialized uh, the memory is allocated to them until the program ends and until the program reaches this part or it returns uh, somewhere in the middle but as long as the main function is running on the stack this amount of memory is going to be used in the heap but what if we want to efficiently use memory and instead of statically assigning the memory, we can dynamically create and assign a memory and that, and that is exactly what dynamic memory management is. It is creating and maintaining a dynamic data structures that grow and shrink at execution time it requires a dynamic memory management, which it has two components obtaining memory at execution time to hold new nodes and releasing memory when it's no longer needed and basically we can obtain the memory using the malloc function and we can free it using the free function now let's go and throw a very shallow example for example we want to have a character string that is going to take 10,000 or maybe let's go let's say 1 million characters and it's going to take 1 million characters that is a lot of memory that is going to be used by this program and we actually need that memory because we want to do some operations on this array now what we can do is that we can initialize the memory for this character array using the malloc function and we don't want to wait until the program is finished once we have done some operations on this character array and we no longer need the character array because it takes so much space we can free the memory using the free function and that is basically dynamic memory management stay tuned as we go into more details of this dynamic memory management using some data structures in the coming episodes